Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you're all keeping well. Welcome back to the next part of Heavy Rain. We're back with part two. In the first part, we were playing as Ethan. And we lost our son. I don't know who this guy is. He's the guy we left off with at the end of part one. But yeah, we lost our son and then... We had to look after the other one and then for some reason we just blacked out and end up in the middle of nowhere and then we left the video was with this guy so let's see what happens hope you enjoy the video be sure to like and subscribe I very much appreciate it all right let's find out who you are what's your story Are you going to be running around the shop calling somebody's name? Let's see what we got. Man at the desk, got to be able to help. Yep. Man at the desk, got to be able to help. Oh, you can change your camera and go that's handy. Uh, Lauren Winter. Lauren Winter. Ring any bells. Nope. Can't say it does. Oh, that Lauren Winter. Third floor, last door on the left at the end of the corridor. Thanks. Always oh, gotta bribe him. Alright. Well, we're going on to our cutscene. We need a cutscene just to go to the top of the stairs. Hello? Anybody home? Hello? All these doors, nobody's home. Sorry, I only see clients by appointment. Wait. It's 50 bucks. I don't kiss and I don't do any weird shit. Fine by me. We have some money on. Put your money on the table. You got exactly 10 minutes when the alarm rings. It's over, okay? Uh, okay. You should take your clothes off. We ain't got all day. Actually, I'm not a customer. Oh, shit, a cop. I should have known. What Busted! Want, is that it? My name is Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. Oh, well, we finally got Families of the victims of the origami killer asked me to investigate the murders. I came here just to ask you some questions about Johnny. I already told the police all I know and have nothing to add. Leave me alone. Uh, let's try and be compassionate. I understand, Lauren. I know what you're going through. Oh, yeah? You know what it feels like to find your own son's body on a wasteland? I'm sorry, I don't believe you have the slightest idea what I'm going through, Mr. Shelby. Okay, let's try and convince. The killer is walking around free as we speak. He'll kill again if he's not arrested. He told he's dead, so what difference does it make? <sighs> no, I'll go try and trick her. I bought ten minutes of your time, didn't I? All I ask is that you use that time to answer some questions. You want to pay me to tell you about my son? Is that it? You can buy my body, Mr. Shelby, but my son is not for sale. Get out of here. Get the fuck out! Okay, that doesn't work. <clears throat> oh well. I would 
pay there, but that wasn't ten minutes. Uh, what the hell's wrong with you? You good? Jesus Christ, what you're being forced choked. Lauren, open up, baby. It's me. What are you doing? Do you have an appointment? I don't want to see you anymore. Sorry, Del. But I really wanted to see ya. You again? If you're looking for trouble, you found it. I'm gonna beat the shit up. Oh! Heads up! Yeah, think fast. Oh. No. Now he's fucking quick time events. Oof, getting good, this. What, 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 what was supposed to do there? I told you to mind your business, asshole. Oh, you son of a bitch. I was doing so bloody well, Lar. To tell you the truth, <laughs> I remember having felt better. Oh. Who was that guy? An ex-client who thinks he owns me. He was getting violent. I told him I didn't want to see him anymore. Oh. In any case, he packs a good right hook. <laughs> oh. Mr. Shelby. Yeah. Thanks. That's fine. Hey, where's that guy? I didn't hear no bell. Would you look at this heavy rain? Jesus, don't run over the people. Control yourself there, Ethan. Who the hell are you? You're not feeling me, though. How many characters are in this game? Agent Norman Jaden, FBI. Norman Jaden, FBI. Mr. Jayden? Yeah. Yeah, of course. There you go. Check. You can pass. I'm looking for Lieutenant Blake. Is he around? I saw him arrive earlier. He's here somewhere. Thanks. Oh, did I get to have the conversation where they say they're in charge and I say, not anymore, you're not. Right. 
Yes, because this is the time to wear sunglasses. Video memo recording. I'm Agent 470. Sorry, what? Vietnam and Jaden, Tuesday, October 4th, 2011. Time is 8.14 a.m. What the hell game have I wandered into? Interesting. Unrelated to the investigation. Oh, find some. Sample of no interest. It comes from one of the policemen present on the wasteland. Tell you, you never lose your bloody car keys wearing these sunglasses. Mm -hmm. Dead end over there. What are you two chatting about? Are you just trying to stay out of the rain? Pretty chilly, huh? Lousy weather, huh? Does it always rain like this? It rains every fall. Doesn't it do that where you come from? Well, yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah, mainly in the summer. Is that a coffee you're drinking there? There's some in the thermos behind you. Help yourself. You're a legend. Have a drink myself. Oh, Jesus, there's a good. <laughs> yeah, get the number of that train. It almost hit me. Sorry, no, but that would have actually killed me if I walked onto the tracks there. Can I walk up? I can. Oh. That would have been so funny. <laughs> Get, killed off. <laughs> leading toward the body. They don't look like those of the police. No correlation with the body for the moment. Lieutenant Blake, I'm Agent Norman Jaden from the FBI. I went by your office this morning. They told me you'd be here. Now, if you're looking for rain, dead bodies, and highways, you come to the right place. Mike, will you tell that asshole with the bulldozer to stop for five minutes? I can't hear myself. Thank you. Right away, Lieutenant. Can't hear anybody with a bulldozer. Well, are you coming, Jaden? So, what happened? Some guy taking his dog for a piss found a body about six o'clock this morning. We don't know much more right now. Based on what we've seen, looks like the work of the origami killer. Any witnesses? None yet. Given the neighborhood, I'd be surprised if anybody saw anything. Any news on the coroner? He's on his way, Lieutenant. We've been waiting for an hour, for fuck's sake. Do we know the cause of death? There are no marks on the body. Chances are he was drowned, like the others. Hmm. Has the time of death been established? Based on the rigor mortis, it must be less than six hours ago. We should know more once the coroner has had a look. Tony, I don't want to see a single shit stirring journalist within a mile of here. You got it? Yes, Lieutenant. Aren't you guys pretty much like contaminating the scene with like walking Listen, around everywhere? You look busy. Do you mind if I have a look around? Be my guest. Hey, Jaden. You come and see me if you find anything, okay? We're on the same team now. Alright. Harry, comment. Sample of no interest. Comes from one of the policemen present on the wasteland. 
I see, that's what I'm talking about. They're contaminating the scene. There's a few things over there. Oh. Which way am I facing now? What's that? Harry Comic, the victim is lying on his back. No visible signs of violence. He said he was drowned. was placed on the victim's chest. Could be the... well, no, not the mark of the killer. A small origami figure in the right hand. Yeah, that'd be the mark of the killer. Fingers were probably closed after the time of death. The victim is Jeremy Bowles, declared missing five days ago. See reference file. Right. Superficial wound on the right thigh. Blood analysis suggests it could be post-mortem. Probably a scratch that occurred when the body was being moved. The blood report indicates an advanced and long-lasting state of exhaustion. This is a cool way to do this. His face is covered with mud, like the other victims. Alright, anything else? Nope. Okay. So got that. Dead cat. The FBI doesn't keep files on dead cats. Why not? Not yet. Somebody watch out for this train. Traces of blood on the railroad trail. Analysis confirms it comes from the victim. Did I get this? Harry Conan. There are traces of blood on the fence behind the railroad line. Oh? It comes from the victim. The killer came this way with the body and probably grazed it on his way through the fence. I guess we go up. And you've got your suit all muddy now. Your mother would be furious. Oh, Jesus. This is like Twister for the fingers. <laughs> Left thumb square. Right finger X. Yeah, go you mate. There's probably something up here. There's a good chance that they're the killers.
fire tracks on the side of the road behind the railroad line. It may be the killer's car. We have seen all there is to see. Well, maybe all you've seen, but maybe not all I've seen. You son of a bitch! Yeah! Oh dear. Oh dear. Catch me, Blake! Ooh, ooh. Like a pro. Hey, yeah, Blake. I'm heading back to the office. You stay in. Uh, I think we're done. Oh, I've seen enough. I'm leaving too. Do you know what tell them about what we've seen or? Switch camera just turn around and say my magic glass has found all these clues. Harry Cummins, orchid pollen detective, probably from the flower left on the bottom. Harry Cummins, the pollen particles disappear in the tall grass. It's probably the end of the trail. Damn, I thought we were on to something there. Don't they usually have to contact your superior? You know, I mean, you could be anybody. Just showing up with the FBI badge. Maybe I've just watched too much Supernatural. Watch your first one. Jesus. I bet there's gonna be something I missed there, like a big clue. Butterfly. Butterfly. The. Ooh, tough one. The fox. fox. Crab. The crab. <sighs> Nick Lady riding the horse. Uh. Death. Results of your MRI scans. Everything Good. seems to be normal. There May they no get right. Damage from the accident. However, I am worried about your psychological condition. I know it's not easy, but you've got to start over, Ethan. You're not responsible for what happened. It's my fault Jason is dead. He'd still be alive if I'd been looking out for him. If I had to call them a few more it times. Accident. Accidents happen every day. You can't blame yourself forever for your son's death. How is Sean? Um... I know he's really unhappy. Last time I seen him, he was a bit Just unhappy because he didn't get to stay up to watch TV. I, I seem unable to love him. And what about you, Ethan? What do you feel? 
I don't know how to love him. I no longer want to live. Jesus Christ, Avon. I have no reason to continue. Not even for your son, Sean. Oh, oh you got a son. Jason. Sean doesn't need a father like me. Is there something else you wanted to tell me, Ethan? No, I can't say the words. No. No. That's not what I wanted to say. I couldn't say the bloody words. That's the end of this session. Uh, we'll continue this conversation next week. There we go. You were lucky, Ethan. It's very rare to survive such a traumatic accident. What accident? I don't exactly feel lucky, Doctor. Hey, thanks, Doc. I mean, technically, should you really be cancel or ending the session of the guys telling you he, he doesn't want to live? You know. Do you want to eat something? How did things go at school today? The teacher yelled at me for being late again. She's gonna send me home the next time it happens. I'm sorry about it's that. It's a bonus. Next time, we'll really pull it together, okay? Is something the matter, Sean? Yeah, his dad says he doesn't want to fucking live anymore. No, I'm alright. Aren't you gonna go play with the other kids? I don't feel like it. <sighs> okay, I'll just sit here and be quiet then. I'm gonna figure this up, and I? I'm gonna mess it up, I'm gonna be the worst father ever. Oh, we're definitely gonna mess this up. Come on, Dad! Higher! Oh, God. I'm gonna break my controller. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're being a good parent. <laughs> right, my turn. <laughs> that was cool. We're going faster! Faster, faster! Oh shit. I don't know about him, I'm getting fucking dizzy. <laughs> Alright, try walking after that. Whoa! <laughs> Right? Fucking launch him. And <laughs> buckaroo. <laughs> right. Um Thanks. Thank you. Hey, 
I got you some chewies. I hate strawberries. Thanks. It was nice of you anyway. I mean, I could let you, you know, hand them back and, uh, uh, exchange them for something else. <sighs> Stupid kid doesn't want my fucking strawberries. <laughs> Like rain's coming. Heavy rain. You better go. Okay. You know, sometimes I remember before. I mean, when Jason was still here. Sometimes I wish everything could just be the way it was before. I know. Me too, Sean. Me too. I did call his name multiple times. Hey, Dad, can I yeah. ride on the carousel? Can I? Oh, you play well, can not? Sure. Go pick a horse and get on. I'll get a ticket. Nobody ever asked me that I want to get on the fucking horse. One, please. That's a dollar. All right. Where is it? Let's hope these ones don't take off like Mary Poppins. Come on, Ethan, pay attention. Ethan? Whoa! What the hell are you keep ending up here for? I swear this feels like a Silent Hill type game. Oh, here we go. Fucking love this feature. Sean, where are you? Sean! 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 Sean, where are you? Sean! What was his name again? Oh yeah. He's crazy if you're never gonna be allowed to fucking look after the kids again.
Maybe if you call him. I'm just waiting for him to turn up like, yeah? Back my head. All right, I ain't gonna leave this part here. That last part was fucking hilarious. I mean, even though you're like, you know, <laughs> fucking running around everywhere looking for his child, but uh, just don't don't let that guy look after any more kids. He's crazy. He's one in a shopping center, and then he loses another one who's literally right in front of him on a carousel going round and round. I don't know. Anyway, I will come back. I guess we'll be taken over with the FBI agent and then we'll figure out what's going on with Ethan and his blackouts I'm assuming but anyway if you enjoyed this part as always hit the like button, drop a comment below and subscribe to the channel, it would be very much appreciated and I will see you for the next one, take care see you again Persian.